now we've got that cleaned up two nuts we we'll try and see if we can get that out of there it might 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 not succeed because it looks pretty ropey but we'll give it a go not the end of the world if we don't that one there that one there tighten those against each other so they're nice and snug Oh, impressive because that looked one with the spoiler. That <laughs> point, uh, I bet now we can get about. We can run the tap dies down them properly and clean them up nicely. Tap dies the die. <laughs> Ooh, messages. I think we can clean that up now. Or maybe make a different one. That was wank. Decision made. These studs are horrible. So we're going to make new ones. Got some gal plated uh, high tensile bolts. So we just cut the ends off of those and make studs out of those. Simple as. when you're cutting off studs is always thread a nut on I could have threaded it on there anyway but uh, because it helps clean the thread off after you've cut it Let's demonstrate what I mean by that I'm going that nut down there now Try and thread another nut on. But the struggle to get that to, to go on because the way it's been cut. But undo that. Like so. That now lines up all the threads. So that will thread on like so. We'll uh, just off this in place. We pull the studs out. We don't scratch the car. And we'll literally just drop the place. Just the light up centre, and because it's designed and built for the car, it sort of snugs into where it needs to go backwards or forwards. And we check the check the edges there, and then looking down from the top, make sure we're square with the car, and that's not a million miles off. So when we drill the holes, we'll drill them with a bit of clearance on them, so that will give us some final adjustment to play with. So now we've got this settled down nicely, get a bit of tape and just mark the basically where these are. Don't have to be too mega accurate with them. Just bang them on. Same in the front. What this will do, I'll take them between these and we take the spoiler back off again. So that's something we can draw. Flash, nice and easy. Right, next thing <laughs> before we just mark and drill and hope for the best, <laughs> yeah. open the boot, you'll notice these indents here. One there. Yeah, you can see it there, on that, on that, 
another one there. They line up the spoiler. They're there for a reason. So we will drill. So we'll line up. Right, we'll drill in the centre there, in the centre there. And see where we're at. Right. Now where you need to drill here is basically the same distance between there and the edge of that, which is about 16 and a half, 17, middle of thereabouts. And so you transfer that onto this side, very, very gently. And then the square, we square across from our hole. Which is there and there. And we'll double check that because once you made a hole, it's difficult to unmake it. That looks pretty good. And the same on this side. Mark. On there, we scratch this side and that looks more like them there, isn't it? Double check this, this is when we double check it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So that's our mark along there. Now then, double check that even further by measuring from our lines. Now a little tip here, the ends of your mat tape measures always got waggle on them and never particularly accurate. So if you try to do something a bit more accurate, start at 10. So from 10, sorry. So from 10 there, over to there, we are 110. We try that on our spoiler. Give it out. <laughs> then again. Now again, looking for centre. Don't, don't go to the centre of the hole because you've got to go to the edge of the hole. Because the edge of this hole and then the edge of this hole. Uh, see, this is where you check. There's where they're tied out. So we've got 195, so we need to move these holes equally out, just a couple of millimetres. And a half mil, make up a five. In, in we need to go, <laughs> not out. So out there won't be in the left? <laughs> no. In is good because we're getting away from that line that is quite unseemed about, so. We'll, we will be oversizing these holes. Again there. Uh, oh, yes, that's going to help us underneath. So we're trying to avoid this as best we can, but of course we're governed by the, the spoiler. So we can only go where we can go with that. Ah, so. oh, there. Yeah. Well, now you can see it. It's the lip. Yes, there we are. Right, so double, double check this measurement again. Go on, inner one. Inner one, yep. Ninety-two ish. So we want to be somewhere in the middle of those holes. Right, the other thing I want to do now, it's always square. Is double check a measurement up from here. So again, we'll. Go from an edge there and wrap the tape around as best we can. And we're looking just over seven and a half there, seven and a half and an eighth, because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> and this is difficult. Seven and a half and an eighth. That's 
just there. And that will line us up with 100. There we go. That's, that's nice and square. So the next thing is to go for it and drill a hole. My car! <laughs> It's fine because it's eight car. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go get a bit of wood to put underneath there. Yeah. So you know, so just hung a bit of wood there. Get the drill. And drill away. Now you notice we're slightly off there. I've done that on purpose because when I measured it, we still a little Still a little bit to play with. Well, it's too late now. And that's why you put the wood there. <laughs> the small holes to begin with, and then we'll work our way up to the size we want. Tape vibe. <laughs> Third drill size. <laughs> so just going up the drill bits one, one bit at a time. Just so we can. I think I'm expecting too much for my little chuck. Alrighty. We're going to a bigger drill. I'm expecting too much of the little, uh, <laughs> little chuck. Just like that. Same on the other side, just to put it out. My fingers. <laughs> yeah, that and try again. And we just go up one drill bit of a size at a time so we don't get too excited. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay. Up the size. Again. Um, Seven and a half. Now that was seven, this is seven and a half. Just a smidgen. We probably end up at eight, but uh Finding the centre on the on this one. Yes. They don't line up straight, which is which would be way too helpful. <laughs> yes. You always expect things too easy. I know. I have to get a tap in here. Under that with a sharpie and bump it on and wriggle it around. Yeah, I'm good my side. And off. And there's our mark. Nicely. It looks like we're getting drilling from here. From here, it looks pretty perfect. 
Okay, we'll uh, drill back down again at the top. I'm going to drill out to that one. Lovely. Yeah, see that from here? Looks yes. uh, smack in the middle. Yeah, that's smack in the middle of the boot bit, that's for sure. Not quite not that bit higher than I expected it to be, but let's try it on and see what it looks like. See, got a scratch. We've got a bit of entrance there. We will fix that. Holes. We might want to probably have a little burrs on the end, so a nice big fat drill bit. Perfect, just to give it a quick once round on both sides. And that removes the swarf nicely. Hmm. Right, because we now have bare steel, we want to fit cover it. So, Paint. Put the paintbrush. And just wrap it around there. Just to touch it up. Yeah. Just on the, on the lip as well, where the drill caught it. Yeah, this one's really easy to do from the top. Really got to get used to this. Not that way round. <laughs> <Nope. laughs> so that looks stupid. Yeah, some Wally made it heavy. Now he needs stronger springs. Brilliant. It's amazing how that, that bit of plastic is really... <laughs> <laughs> you know, only strong, only the correct springs for it. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay, this car is definitely not for shopping. Look at that! How we got into the freezer? 